what's up y'all I hope everybody is like surviving this fucking corona this fucking corona with no line you know what I'm saying I hope we all like making it through real for real oh my god anyway I am about to um make me some um some tea and, um, I'm about to, um, y'all never mind. I'm about to make me some, um, vanilla chai, cause I, y'all, I don't know what's going on. Oh my God. Okay, so really, like, I'm so tired, like, I know TMI, but it's that time of the month. Friday, I had that Retusamax, um, uh, infusion. And then we got all this bull crap about these Coronas with no line. Girl. It's like, I ain't been, I ain't been to work since the 18th Wednesday. And we had a short day on that day. On Thursday, they said, don't worry about something doing it. I was out Friday for my treatment. And then I didn't have to go back the weekend, which was yesterday and today. And then I looked at my chronos and they was like, uh, we'll see y'all on Saturday, maybe. I'm like, oh, what's really going on, y'all? But anyway, I'm about to try to um, prepare me some tea. It's still on my nerves. I'm sorry, because you know I'm a bougie bitch that needs to uh, drink black tea or something. I don't know. It's too early for my wine. I can't. So anyway, I had got this um, Costco, uh, Costco, Costco um, rotisserie chicken. And me and baby girl had like half of it the other day. So I was like, uh, let me go and um, make a meal after the second half so we could go ahead and uh, get rid of it. I'm about to uh, do like some vegetables in the oven, like some broccoli, squash, zucchini, um, asparagus, drop a couple of tomatoes in there, some pepper down right here, dice onions, this baby about to start crying right here, so let me make my tea right quick. And I'll hold it back. Got my own tea. Stupid. Got to add a little cream to it. Yes, I'm that one. <laughs> Y'all know how I do. I got clean the vegetables before I uh, get started. They're like, duh. But you know, most people just pull that shit right out the bag. You know, like they, it's not like get heated up anyway. It's not like kill the germs, girl. Kill the germs and cook the dirt. <laughs> okay. Anyway. About to clean. These little puppies here and cut them up and um put them on the this is a good pain now. Remember when I bought this at um Marshall's uh I'll put the uh video in the cards above. <laughs> That's the girl, you really being real YouTube is whatever. But anyway, I got the oven preheated. Well, it's supposed to be well, it's already preheated. It's hot and ready to go. It's 400 degrees. I hope that's hot. I hope that's hot enough. I don't want it to be too hot because 
that chicken is already halfway done or three quarters of the way done. They said, oh, bitch, you smart. And you doubted me. Okay. But anyway, I'm about to, uh, yeah, go ahead and sit this up real quick. And I'll be back. So, uh, this is what we got. I'm about to pop it in the oven. I guess I took it for about 25 minutes or so and then check it out. And then you got your as asparagus, um, broccoli, zucchini, and that half of chicken. Miss Ramsey, no, 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 my Gordon Ramsey, no, mm-hmm, but anyway, okay, in a child. Two and two. What? Okay, y'all. It's like Tuesday. I'm going crazy. <laughs> Back to do a face mask with some of the um the Aztec secret. Apple fire. Got some turmeric.
Okay, so yeah, my uh, ceiling fan going. That motherfucker like a helicopter. But anyway, I am. This is what Tuesday. <sighs> Last day I work was. Oh, I feel like I'm getting fine. Last day I worked was Wednesday. Last week, um, which we had a uh, short work day, and then the next day, which was Thursday, they was like, don't even worry about coming to work, and then Friday, I had my treatment, so I was scheduled to be off anyway, and I haven't been out the house since Friday, and this is Tuesday, so... So, four days in, and technically five days in, because Thursday, I really, I don't remember doing anything. I might have went to, so I'm not sure. I don't think I did that one. But anyway, <sighs> just getting, I mean, like, I'm a homebody anyway, but it's a difference between, you know, you voluntarily being at home because you want to be and somebody telling you you can't go out because of you know it's dangerous I mean it's like a difference so it's like hard for you to like kind of relate to the situation in that aspect but I mean um I adapt to anything or, you know what I'm saying, make, try to make do with what's going on. But anyway, um, we, me and baby girl just been in her chilling. She's trying to get caught up on her schoolwork because they're doing this distant line. Um, she been out ever since spring break. Um, they went, they got out for spring break, and they ain't been back since. It's like that week, last week, they um sent out emails saying that at first they was like, oh, they gonna be out for two more weeks, and then after a couple of days, they was like, uh, they gonna be out indefinitely, and we'll let y'all know through emails what's going to be the next step. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, so we trying to figure out some things, but she's a smart girl, so she kind of navigating okay. herself through, um, just been the new, uh, learning food, system that like they have, so washing desk plus out of his head for the trying to it's going to be their last year and they have to graduate. They occupied. Um, Whatever they trying to eat up everything and make healthier eating choices. Up, but I mean, it's gonna be a learning uh, experience with for everybody. Yeah. Boy, hungry or whatever. I get caught with these videos. I like big girl ain't posting on that one. Y'all can see why your girl been busy working. I guess I don't know. I haven't navigated the. Um, how to incorporate the vlogger in with actually working. But, I mean, it, this is giving me the opportunity to get some things on track. I said, I'm sitting up here, I'm like, why is it, why is mass, mass, like a protective mass is such an issue with the medical community? I'm like, why? See, that's the part. That's the problem. Instead of being proactive, they being reactive. They like wait for shit to go wrong and then try to scrabble and figure out how the fuck they gonna fix it. Um. Yeah, like they said, if you don't learn from your um, past, if you doomed to repeat it. That you have been through pandemics and epidemics before, and you and say. What the consequences, what the uh, challenges were. So, why are you like, uh, 
hell on. I was on, on Facebook and I was like, um, I had saw the little, um, news, um, reporting about they having the shortage or the lack of protective masks. I'm like, now every state should have their own facility that makes all of their medical equipment. For one, you go go always. You gonna have what you need on site to produce what you need. Secondly, that's uh, putting jobs into the community. Thirdly, it's cost efficient because you ain't having to outsource for people to make these beds. You got the masses homegrown, right? Right in your backyard. And then, if things were to happen, God forbid, like this, you are better than prepared. Girl, no, I'm not running for president. No. <laughs> but I'm like, they just, they wait for shit to hit the fan, and then they want to, like, oh my God, we're, like, really in, uh, up shit creek without power. We don't have any PPE. Yeah, I'm like... <sighs> but you know we are all human girl let Dr. Phil too don't get nobody the benefit of that I ain't giving y'all the benefit of the doubt y'all should know I'm better have my feet mm-hmm. and I'm like these people still walking around here it's like ain't shit going on I'm just like this right here. Don't knock on my dough call, friend. Okay. But, um... Yeah, I'm just sitting up here. I'm doing more sleeping than anything. I mean, actually, you know, in hindsight, this is giving me the opportunity to catch up on resting and getting myself health wise back together because I do have an autoimmune disorder and shit like this will affect me because my um respiratory system can get compromised. So I, I'm like I'm staring clear because of the fact that if I were God forbid to come in contact with this, I mean shit. Your girl is like, I'm gonna I'm go down fire, you know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be hard. And I already know secondhand how hard it's gonna be because I've experienced um, respiratory failure twice in my life. So, that's something I'm not gonna go through. Like, I'm right now, your girl is gonna need uh, some cake cups and some other essentials or whatever your girl to make. Made the little list and stuff of some things that I could, you know what I'm saying, that I know that would get me, like, on through what's going on. But I'm like, isn't that shit worth it? Trying to brave the elements and go out there and fuck some K-Cups. Girl, bang. I'm going to have to uh, J-Rig something because I got some coffee grinds and... <laughs> I'm gonna have to make sure me a, a K cup, take one of them own K cups to get creative. I don't know. But, um, that's the least of my worries right now. I'm trying to think about, um, how long this is gonna last and what type of effect this I'll have. Excuse me. I'm me trying to get prescriptions and. Yeah. Um. <coughs> okay, y'all. Um. <laughs> they like, oh shit. This bitch has got the ick. Y'all. That was the man. I. They like, we ain't having it. Just turn it out. <laughs> but anyway. Hmm. Uh, 
I'm feeling fine. They said the new uh, symptom is like um, not being able to smell or taste. Good. That sounds like the flu. Sure, I don't know what they doing. I can't even call it. I'm just like trying to steer my ass clear so I don't get none of that. You know what I'm saying? God. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, everybody laid up and stuff. About to be uh having some Corona babies and not this sick. Mm. But anyway. It's getting super tight and hard for me to talk. Mm-hmm. Oh. You know, it's starting to, uh, it's really to come off when it started crumbling. So irritating. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> god. God, the food is so massive. I don't think I hate about This man is just saying it's staying in This water is extremely hot. Oh my god, it's extremely hot. And I swear to you, turmeric. This shit will spray up some stuff, but when I show y'all after y'all, oh my god, Becky, oh, look at her. Oh my god, baby. Look at her results. Oh my god. I hate the way um get too much smell. But for the most part. Oh, I forgot to hit my elbows. I need to put some moisturizer on and tone. I haven't done that yet. Cause it took me like twelve years to wipe off that mask. I like girl. Come on. Okay, I got it tuned. Put it on my moisturizer. Mm. 
my um excuse the stairs uh astringent to get off anything that was on it and it's still in bad time. Then I followed up with the toner, one bathroom, the cucumber. Then, but anyway, go in with the um, with the cure. So um, that's how your girl get her um straighten up a little bit and face some resume watch, watch some Netflix, turn the press if it's absolutely filthy, you know what? Girl, you like her. Librarian, honey, I'm the naughtiest librarian you would ever meet in your life. You know what? I'm but anyway. I am about to get in here and just, um, uh, so, what y'all watching on Netflix? I've been watching The Rain, Ozark, The... Hunting of Tea House 